Gather round in brave young knights to hear this fabled story. Adventures of the Swan Table and of Dragon Glory. In Carapel Hall, in the cause of King Alphaya, we must confess we do our best to hide the Queen's Red Dino. We're dragons and we're proud to say, we fight for honor and we don't get paid. We're not damsels in distress, you can bet we're at our best. Blazing dragons, we will save the day. We're lost. Who's got a map? Chivalry code number 896 prohibits knights from carrying maps, my lord. Well, we'd better find Avalon soon. Mumsy will be really mad if we don't return with Avalon apples for her famous deep-fried apple fritter colon blitzers. Hmm, looks pretty tame to me. Ooh. As president of the Avalon Fiction and Folklore Fan Club, I should mention that Avalon is anything but tame. It's actually an enchanted paradise with supernatural powers. Ouch! Legendary tales speak of knights who were lured into Avalon's forbidden temptations. Ow! Temptations? I don't succumb to frivolous folly. Oh, look! A wishing well! Perhaps it would be wise not to indulge in this idle fancy. It's only a wishing well. I wish I had a one-of-a-kind custom tailored John Paul Goiter orange spandex pantsuit with big buttons and a matching cape. <laughs> have you ever seen anything like it? No, and if we're lucky, we'll never have to begin. I wish for all the knowledge in the universe to be within my grasp. Ultimate book of brain-bending knowledge and cool riddles. All the knowledge in the universe. What'll I do with it? Waste it on us like you always do. I wish for a king-size quadruple decker corned beef on rye with Dijon mustard, a thin spread of delicately seasoned herb mayo, and a cherry tomato garnishing on top. <laughs> I'm in paradise! <sighs> it could never grant my wish, because the only thing I truly wish for is knighthood, and to be challenged by a grand quest! Ah! Blazing, Blazing dragons, dragons, you're a knight! <laughs> At least the quest wasn't granted. It appears that your wish has come true. Now you must go on a grand quest, and should you fail, we'll all spiral downwards into a mysterious vortex of doom and despair forever and ever into eternity! So it says. But where do I begin this quest? Abandon hope, all ye who enter. Buffalo poo! What's this? No, Sir Blaze! It's obviously some evil trap, meant to harm us. This isn't so bad. It appears we've arrived at the pit of painful and pointy paraphernalia. No problem. We'll just turn back. Triple O Pool! We're trapped! How will we get across? I know. I'll simply use my crossbow to shoot a rope across the pit, where we can then make our way to safety. Only one small flaw in your plan, Flicker. We don't have any rope! I've concluded that whatever we use would have to be lightweight, durable, and have a little stretch to it. <gasps> oh, I'd die if I had to give this up! We'll all die if you don't, Sir Blaze, and in a very painful manner. Be brave, lad. It was a good cave. Oh, I guess my sacrifice was worth it. The button! Oh no, we're doomed! Bridge? <laughs> the irony is almost humorous, wouldn't you say? 
sorry. Apparently, we've arrived at that beastly bog of bug bites. In case of emergency, break glass. No, my lord. There is no emergency. It's a trick to test our patience. Oh, oh, ah, no, 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 no. oh, oh, oh. Will nothing stop these little bloodthirsty savages? I'm going mad! Our only hope is to distract these beasts by means of another food. You aren't suggesting my sandwich, are you? Not on your... Ah! All right, take it. Your heroism cannot be matched. Well, thanks to me, we've conquered the beasts of the beastly bog. <laughs> that ugly beast in front of you, in dire need of a shave and a breath mint, would be the real beast for which this bog is named. <laughs> the glass! This time it is an emergency! You really think so, Flicker? Mosquito repellent? When I was in Junior Squire Scouts, we had a surefire plan to keep all monsters away. We sang camp songs. Michael rode the boat ashore, hallelujah! Michael rode your boat ashore, hallelujah! That's two successful quests! Huzzah! Uh, sorry, my lord. All ye who enter, prepare to face your darkest fear. It says we've arrived at the castle of big barbaric booby traps. P.S. The weapons by the door are no booby trap. No, Sir Bernabier. I think we should go in unarmed to demonstrate our collective courage. <laughs> Amazing dragons. What's that? It's a mad executioner sharpening his tool. Nay, it's a crazed lunatic locked in the bell tower. No, it's a trio of unchoreographed Morris dancers. Well, it could be. Oh, cool. The damp dungeon of the deadly drift. Say, isn't this where we started? Aye. Apparently, the damp dungeon of the deadly drift is where the main sprinkler system for the orchard resides. <gasps> and it's all battered and broken. Just like you'll be if you don't get us out of here. We have to stop the leak. Sir Bonavir, I need your help. Now you want my boot. See if I can wad up the paper into tight little balls and block the pipes. Well, forget it. No, you don't understand. I'm going to use my golden suit of armor and make new pipes to replace the rusty ones that burst. Your armor? But Flicker, you'll lose your knighthood. It's a small price to pay in exchange for our lives. So I'll need your book of knowledge to give me a quick course in soldering pipes. I'm sure that Sir Bernavier doesn't mind giving up his book of knowledge, or Sir Blaise giving up his designer outfit, or Sir Loungelot giving up his corned beef on rye. Isn't that right, my lord? Oh, oh, shut, shut up! up. 